Do you ever wonder how these stunning images are being created by folks? Whether or not you need to be an expert prompt engineer to be able to do the same, whether you need to have advanced knowledge for prompt crafting? Well, the answer is yes, you need to have advanced prompts to be able to create something similar, detailed prompts. But the good news is you don't necessarily have to do it by yourself. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a simple Google Chrome extension for ChatGPT that you can quickly install and use that to create stunning images in mid-journey like the ones you're seeing in the screen right now. So here is how our workflow is going to look like. We'll first get that ChatGPT Chrome extension installed. We'll then have our simple concept. We'll provide that concept to ChatGPT, which will take that concept and create a detailed prompt. We'll then take that prompt back into Midjourney, and Midjourney will create the stunning image like this one here. Okay, so to get that, that AIPRM Google Chrome extension, we come into Chrome Web Store, and I'll have the link in the description for you. And we do a quick search for AIPRM, and we'll see that right on top in the list, there'll be one for AIPRM for ChatGPT. And that's the extension we need. So at that point, all we have to do is just click on it and just say, add to Chrome. Then you may get prompted to confirm. You just say, add extension. And just by doing that, you just added AIPRM or ChatGPT Chrome extension. And what that means, every time you get into ChatGPT, you'll get to see some additional features there. And one of the features is Midjourney Prompt Generator. And that's the one we are going to use. OK, now that we are in ChatGPT and we have the Midjourney Prompt Generator, thanks to the Google Chrome extension AIPRM, we are ready to provide ChatGPT with some simple concepts so that it can turn that into a detailed prompt. So let's try a simple concept here. I'm going to write a girl sitting next to a pond watching butterflies. That's my simple concept. And Let's see what prompt or prompts this extension is going to provide us with, with the help of ChatGPT. It's working through coming up with the different prompts here. And there is our first prompt. What's neat, it actually happens imagine prompt before the beginning of the prompt itself. So we don't necessarily have to type in anything and as you can also see that it's a detailed prompt now what's cool i found with this specific google chrome extension is that it doesn't just generate one specific prompt it goes through the same concept and comes back with multiple prompts so you can essentially pick and choose from any one of them or you can if you like try and experiment with all three or all four to see what type of image you get and then you can decide what you want to do with it and by the way you can regenerate if none of the ones that you see in the list none of the advanced prompts you like you can always regenerate just as you can with chat gpt without the extension all right so how many prompts have we got here so far i think this is the fourth prompt and those are the ones that you get you get four prompts every time you provide this Google Chrome extension with a concept. I find it to be so very helpful because I'm not even needing to research or even look at any other tools. This is just like a one-stop shop where everything is done for me. And all I have to do is just copy and paste. So let's go through the prompts quickly. And without reading them, I just want to quickly check to see which one I like the most. All right, so all of them are so cool. 
There is watercolors. There is camera shot. There's also a digital illustration. So why don't we just take the one watercolor one and see how it turns out in Mid Journey. So I'm going to go back into Mid Journey, and I was playing with various prompts before, and okay. So all right. So this is the prompt. Let's just run it. And Mid Journey is going to take its time to come back with, hopefully, a set of stunning images, mind blowing images. So let's just go back and pick another one. This one seems to be for the camera shot. So let's see what type of image we get in Mid Journey. So I'm going to paste that as well and let it run. In the meantime, the other one is coming back. All of them are looking great. And these are watercolors. And this one is, let's scroll down here to see. Okay, that one looks more like a camera shot. So if I expand that one, you can see the images are all generated for you. And from there you can upscale or you can create variations for any one of those ones that you like. So that's how it works. And I hope you found this to be another option for you out of the many options to create mind-blowing images in Mid Journey. And you, you do that by providing Mid Journey with advanced prompts, detailed prompts that you never have to work on. It's all done for you.